Hey, what's going on guys? Caleb Wisted here. And today I wanted to show you my top three crappie casting lures. And these lures really, really shine anytime crappies are shallow and they're spread out and you can cast for them. Like today, I've got a really nice spring day. The crappies are moving up shallow. Some of them are bedding, some of them are scattered along the shoreline. So I really wanna cover some water and do some casting for them. And I'm gonna show you the best three baits that I always keep rigged up and I switch back and forth between. And these are basically the only three you need, but I will show you one bonus one at the end that will also be uh, pretty useful for you. So let's get started with number one, a two inch swim bait. This is the Euro Tackle B Vibe. All the lures I'm gonna be talking about are Euro Tackle lures today. That's just because I'm a huge Euro Tackle fan and I've been catching so many fish on them the last couple years. Uh, any brand will work, but I do recommend Euro Tackle for sure. So. A two inch B vibe is just a small paddle tail swim bait. It's got a really narrow tail section, so it swims at very, very slow speeds. And I've got that rigged on a 16th ounce tungsten jig, and that's about the right size for a two inch swim bait to get the speed I want, which is a slow kind of thump. This is the bait that I'm gonna use probably 80% of the time when I'm casting for crappies. You just can't beat the action of a soft plastic two inch swim bait. So basically how I'm gonna retrieve these guys is I'm gonna make a long cast, I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom, and then I'm gonna slowly start reeling and just let that paddle tail kick. Once in a while I'll throw in a twitch or let it sink to bottom and just kind of let the fish tell me what they want. Um, typically I, I get a lot of bites on just a straight retrieve. Now if I see a fish that's following it, I'll a lot of times let it drop back in its face or speed it up or twitch it and a lot of times that elicits a strike from that fish. You just kind of have to experiment, and if you're getting more and more bites after twitches or pauses or drops, just start doing that more, and it's pretty simple. It's one of the easiest baits to fish. It's a great bait for kids to use. They can just cast it, reel it slow, and catch crappies. So for my B-Vibe colors, guys, I stick with two basic colors, black and gold, unless you're fishing really stained water, and then I might throw in a red or a chartreuse. Now, another thing about a swim bait on a jig is you can fish it at any depth, like literally any depth you want. You can fish 20 feet of water, you can fish two feet of water without having to retie because that jig will sink. So it's super versatile if you're going up and down searching for fish in different depths. You absolutely can't beat that swim bait for that. Just slowly crank the handle, just keeping it off bottom is all you gotta do. A little twitch once in a while. Oh, see that? Bam. Twitched it, an instant bite. Probably. That fish was probably following it, I'm guessing. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. That's an awesome looking fish right there. And he just choked that B vibe down the hatch. That's why I love these little swim baits. They're absolutely deadly. Just crawl them real slow right towards you and fish on. That's number one, guys for casting for crappies, the two inch swim bait, Euro Tackle B Vibe. And I will leave links for all these baits down below so you can find them super easily. Now let's move on to number two. This is a crappie killer and it's a jerk bait. It's a two inch Z spender jerk bait from Euro Tackle. And I've actually modified this bait with a clam feathered treble on the back. And I've been having such good luck with that feather this year. I would recommend trying at least one of your jerk baits with that modification. But this bait is absolutely killer because you can hang it in front of a crappie's face. You can twitch it, pause it, and just let it sit there. And if you watch crappies, a lot of times they'll come up to it, they'll look at it, and then you twitch it again and then they grab it. And it's just one of those killer baits for springtime especially super early in the year when the water's cold that hang time is just very important this bait basically i'm going to fish with a twitch pause retrieve so i'm going to go twitch pause twitch twitch pause and i'm going to twitch on a slack line so that bait's just going to stop dead it's not going to keep floating ahead that's what you want you want it to just completely stop so twitch slack twitch twitch slack and man do they hammer it now as the water warms up, you can do a little bit faster, like twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and you can speed it up a little bit, but I find that that slow retrieve works even in warmer water as well. So this will work basically anywhere down to uh, about five feet. Uh, it's a shallower bait. You're not gonna use it on real deep structure, but 
Uh, springtime and fall, absolutely deadly. I'm typically throwing these in clear water so I don't need bright colors on them. And crappies just really, really seem to dig bluegill and minnow colors. So that's usually what I stick with on the jerk baits. And this fish bit my B vibe once, but he won't hit it again. So now I'm gonna switch to that Z spender. I'm gonna try and put it right in his face, get that hang time right over his bed. He's looking at it. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Oh, it's a nice one too. Really nice. Really nice crappie guys. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. They want that hang time, especially if they're on a bed. Sometimes that bee vibe just a little too fast for them. Oh, what a tank. What a tank, you guys. <laughs> Look at that, absolutely gorgeous crappie on that Z spender. Just hung it right in front of his face. And that's why you need all three of these baits to really be a casting pro and catch crappies in any situation. So another awesome fish. We're gonna let that fish go for sure. But that is a great, great crappie. All right guys, number three is the lipless crankbait. Not a ton of people fish these for crappies, but I have caught so many crappies on them, especially later in the summer when those crappies get on deep weed lines. You can just work the weed lines and just pull up and let it drop, pull up and let it drop. And this is the eighth ounce size right here. It's a great size for crappies, although I have caught them on bigger sizes as well. They're not as shy of these baits at all. And typically that's how I'm gonna work them. I'm just gonna do a slow pull, fall, slow pull, fall but you can straight retrieve them and they work excellent on a straight retrieve as well. And I'll oftentimes use these for a cleanup bait or a reaction bait in dirty water where those fish can't see some of the other baits as well. It's got tons of rattle, tons of flash, tons of vibration, calls in fish, and it's an absolutely deadly bait. It casts a mile, so you can cast this really, really far. And it's a great little tool in certain situations for casting for crappies. And you can also vertical jig with it. It's a good vertical jigging lure, although that's not what this video is about. So I uh, definitely wanted to utilize that one in this video because I do catch a lot of crappies on a lipless crank casting. And this is the Z-Viber from Euro Tackle, super popular bait. It's been around a long time catching fish and uh, I use it a lot. For my lipless crankbait colors, I'm gonna go with something that matches the color of the water. So. Darker colors usually for darker water with some chartreuses and reds in them, and then some more natural colors for clear water. Okay guys, before I get into the bonus bait number four, I wanted to go over kind of my rod, reel, and line setup. So for a lot of these baits, I'm gonna use a medium light, six to seven foot extra fast rod, or a panfish type rod that's got a little bit more backbone to it because some of these lures are fairly heavy and you need to jerk them, you need to rip them. So a walleye rod, a light walleye rod will work um, or a heavy panfish rod basically. And as far as the line goes, I'm gonna go with an eight or 10 pound braid on all of these uh, baits and then a six foot liter of four to six pound fluorocarbon depending on water clarity. Today I've got both on and the fish didn't seem to mind the six pound even in this clear water. So that helps you if you happen to hook a bass or something, which I definitely did today. And I was glad I had that six pound on, but some days when they're real finicky, you gotta go to four. And uh, some guys even go two, but I never run that light. I just don't think you need to. So that's my setup that I'm running these baits on. And uh, the longer the rod, remember, the longer the casting distance you get as well. So a little short stubby five foot five panfish rod is not gonna give you good casting distance. That's kind of what we used to use for ultralights, uh, but now they're making much lighter rods with longer lengths that give you more leverage on that cast. So I prefer like that six to seven foot length. Okay guys, I promised I'd give you a fourth bait and that is the crankbait. This is a little 1.5 inch Z cranker and you can cast these. You need light line and a light uh, setup to cast them because they're a little bit lighter than the rest of the baits. But if you want to get deeper and have that wiggle, they work really, really well. They work great for trolling as well, but I've actually done really well on crappies 
out in the basin when they're kind of suspended off the weeds, just slow cranking this guy right through the school and getting that wobble going. And it works great for those suspended schools of crappies a little bit deeper. So number four, the bonus bait is the crankbait. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for my baits that I recommend for casting for crappies. Again, links are down below. If you guys wanna watch more videos, I got a lot more. I'll leave one right here. Thanks for watching, guys. Get hooked up.